about the WordPress function called Paginate Links. So we go into Codex. Uh, you can see that this is the function Paginate Links, and it accepts the arguments, which could be a string or an array, which is actually optional. Okay. So what does this function do? This function retrieves the paginated links for the archive post pages. So for example, if you are on your index.php of your uh, theme on your home page, uh, at the bottom of the all the posts, you might want to have a pagination saying one, two, three, and uh, you know next button, previous button to go on to the next page. Uh, if you have uh, you know the more number of posts which don't fit in one page, okay. So for that reason, this uh, function is used. So if you go in to your index.php, you can go ahead and just uh, echo out this function uh, called paginate links. We are not passing any parameter because passing parameter is optional, okay. Okay, so we're just echoing out this pagination, paginate links, and uh, sure enough, we can see that we've got our pagination right here. So if we do an inspect element, we can see the code right here starting from span tag and all of these link tags. And that's why the name is link, links. Yeah, so it's going to retrieve and uh, return the links uh, for the pagination for the page numbers so page numbers page numbers one two yep and then the next next button okay so this is what is going to uh, display you can also make your custom functions uh, so let's say i go ahead and make my custom function for my theme which is cornova pagination and i go to my custom functions.php file which i've included into the functions.php uh, I'm checking if this function exists uh, and um, if it doesn't exist then I'm defining this function I'm echoing out the nav tag uh, and then this is the end of the nav tag okay and then I'm passing the parameter pagination arguments which span a tag and, and things like that and I'm passing that to WP cases as we all know we have discussed that in our previous videos that WP cases returns the filtered content with only allowed HTML so it is going to echo out the page initial links, but it's going to echo out. Uh, it's going to filter out the um, attributes to only span and a tag uh, with these uh, with the options of classes and href. Okay, that's the whole reason of using WP cases. Okay, to filter the content uh, out of this uh, arguments that we're passing. So the so it's going to filter the content uh, with this argument that's passed into it. So it's, we're going to get the uh, page initial links to return the page initial links for the archive post pages uh, using this function. Okay, so it's going to produce the same result basically. We still have the page initial links available here using this function. Okay, so that's about it. Uh, however, if you go to Codex, you can see there are more information available on what sort of arguments you can pass for example you can pass the base which is the base of the uh, page generated URL in the array of arguments and then you have format format of the pagination structure total amount of pages current page number whether to show all pages or not default is false how many numbers on either and uh, start and the end list edges how many numbers to either side of the current pages and so on and so forth so these are all the arguments you can pass and based on which it's going to, uh, you know, display the pagination links. Okay, cool. So see you in the next video.